Nothing's like a rock show, man. The big gatherings with like-minded people. That's what music's about. It's a place of solidarity. It's a place where all the disenfranchised feel that they belong to something that's much bigger than themselves. I mean, when that crowd is ready to pop, and you can feel it singing louder than you are through the PA system, and there's nothing better than that. I'll be at something like Comic-Con, and the actress is like, oh my god, this is insane! With all these fans, and they're freaking out having so much interaction. I'm like, this is like every fucking day on tour. I'm a whole different person when I'm at one of these concerts. You can de-stress your life and just be in the moment. Fans of metal and hard rock are completely different from fans of any other genre. That symbiotic relationship between the fan and the band, it's important. It's integral to what we do. The crowd surfing is exhilarating to just know I just started in the back and I'm going to make my way all the way up to the front and then the band's going to see me. You know, it is a part of my life, and I feel like if I didn't have that, I would pretty much be a miserable person. It, it's like ants coming over. So I sat there during one song and counted, and it was over 250 bodies that came over for one song. I see a lady in a wheelchair fucking crowd surfing, that's rock and roll! Part of the reason that we all gravitate towards this music is because it gives us a sense of belonging and a sense of community. For the last 17 years, I've been in law enforcement. It's life or death a lot of times. Prisoners, they'll come up to me with their Walkman, and they'll be like, hey, ha have you heard this new song? And I'll sit and share my stories with them. Music provides that bond where two people can find a mutual ground to where it's not a deputy and an inmate sitting in a jail, where two people expressing feelings about music that just brings everyone together. It's amazing when an audience connects to something that you wrote in your bedroom. Music has the ability to heal the human soul like nothing else can. Because that's what music is, that's what rock and roll is about. It's about feeling good. I think rock and roll is extremely therapeutic. It's just a way to keep your head on straight. Rock is definitely my therapy. It's just raw and dirty and gritty and I just feel it. It's definitely my, my mom trip. A lot of people in this scene like to drink, like to do drugs, that's the way they escape. But if you continue down that path, it's just gonna lead to dark, bad things. Everyone wants to give you free drugs when you're a rock star, and everyone wants to party with you, but you still have the same problems that everyone else has in their life. Rock and roll and adrenaline are united through the genetics and the disease of addiction. That's one of the reasons that the incidence of addiction is so high amongst the rock performers. And people put you up on this pedestal and they think you're bulletproof. I struggle with it every day. I want to drink every day. I want to do everything that could fucking kill me. And I don't because I have this whole list of things that are way more important. The mosh pit is just a way to release aggression, grab someone around the shoulder and run around a couple times with them and you meet these new people in it that are the same way as you. I don't like to wall in that. <laughs> And they split them up and they say go and they hit. It's absolutely crazy. It's just warfare. And it looks insanely violent, but it's a family vibe in there even though we're beating the tar out of each other. <laughs> so whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, a liberal or conservative, when the music catches you, it doesn't matter. We're all one. Myself and the music I'm making the on is one of the most important relationships in my life. It's a real connection that's more than like, we're gonna go play a show, there's an ocean of people, there's a check at the end of the day. Like, don't tell anybody, but I do this for free, okay? Don't tell, don't tell a soul.